we uh, we, we lost a, a friend yesterday. Um, uh, someone who died by suicide uh, unexpectedly and, and tragically. Um, and sadly, we have, uh, we have far too much of that in, in our state and in our country and uh, in our society today. It's, it's, it's no secret that Utah has, a, has a, a high suicide rate as compared to the, the rest of the nation. I think we're, we're, we have the sixth highest rate in the nation right now. It's something that's always on my mind, uh, but, but specifically uh, because of, of, of yesterday and, uh, and and, and because uh, I'm thinking of my own kids as we're heading back to school, uh, these are very d difficult times in, in our country. Um, we, we know that, uh, that um, mental health problems have been exacerbated over the past several years, even before COVID, uh, but, but especially coming out of the pandemic. And so, so if I might just use this as an opportunity um, to to ask people in the state of Utah, um, first of all, if, if you are suffering from, from depression or anxiety, if you're, if you're struggling or having thoughts of suicide, um, I, I would beg you, um, first of all, please stay. We need you. Uh, we need you here in our state. You are so important. I've, I've been where you are. Um, I've, uh, I've, I've shared this before, but as, as, a, as a youth growing up, I, I struggled with, with suicide ideation, and um, it's 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 not uncommon um you you are certainly not alone if you are feeling those things and there you, you are not broken there is nothing there is nothing um unfixable about you uh you are we we need you and we need you here so please please reach out and get help we have more resources than ever before um we have a, a new suicide prevention hotline uh like like 911 only for for mental health it's it's 988 and uh at the push of three buttons you can can immediately be connected with a professional who can help you uh, through through that crisis. Um, please talk to a friend, a family member, a counselor, a coworker, um, anyone. Just talking about it, we know, has the ability to reduce um, the, the chances of, uh, of of an attempted suicide. And, and then to those who aren't um, aren't feeling that that way right now. I would ask you all to reach out to your family members and your friends and do something very simple. Just ask a simple question. Uh, ask, have you thought about suicide? Um, and if so, have you thought about it recently? Now, I know that's kind of a scary, scary question to ask. And sometimes we think that if we, if we talk about it, it may put ideas in someone's head. Uh, the research is very clear that that is not true. That, that is not a thing. Um, in, in fact, the opposite is true, that just by bringing it up, just by talking about it, even if the person has been thinking about it and they're not willing to talk right now, knowing that you're the type of person that is open and willing to have that conversation with them is sometimes enough um, to keep them here and when they're ready, they, they will talk to you. And, and I, I know the second part of this is, is even more scary. What if the person says, yes, what do I do then? Um, well, you don't have to have all the answers and, and we don't expect you to have all the answers. But um, I, I think of there's some great training out there called QPR training. Think about CPR for saving a, a physical life. QPR is, is how we save someone who, who's in crisis. So the first is question, that's the cue. And you just ask that question. Um, the second part of that is just persuade. And, and that is, we, we persuade the person to get some help, professional help. And again, we have lots of, uh, we have, uh, uh, lots of institutions that can help with that, 988 being the, the easiest, um, but there are many others and, and uh, easy to find in the state. Um, the Safe Utah app is another one that we recommend, um, especially for our young people. It's in uh, about 90% of our schools now, um, including higher education. Every child and every parent should have access to the Safe Utah app. At the push of a button on your smartphone, phone or device, um, you can immediately be in contact with one of our professionals at the University of Utah who could, who could help. And then the R is for refer. So we persuade them to get help and then we refer them to one of these, um, one of these lifelines to help protect lives. Um, if, we, if we will all do that uh, today, tomorrow, this week, throughout this year, uh, I, I know we can save more lives and uh, we, can, uh, we, we, we can do better here in the state of Utah.